Hey guys, I am just so not feeling it today. This is real pregnancy right here. I we're back in the swing of things, kind of. We're back in we're back home, obviously you can tell. Um, but I'm just like not I'm just so unmotivated. And I don't I guess it's just because I'm pregnant, but I went to the gym. Can I see that? I went to the gym the past two days and it was like just miserable. Like I felt like I couldn't do anything. I just I remember feeling like this last time too, around this time, like it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> like bending down and getting stuff is uncomfortable in itself. So then like actually like working out and trying to do like mountain climbers and like intense things, I'm just like, what am I doing? So I was gonna try to go to the gym today and I just was like not into it. Um, so basically I've just been sitting here binge watching YouTube. Cal was in his crib for a little bit. Um, I thought he was gonna take a nap, but I think he just wanted his passy. So we've started a new thing. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. My battery just, or my memory card was full. So anyways, I was saying <laughs> that we started, oh gosh. We started to limit his pacifier at tw at 18 months. I was like, I'm gonna limit his pacifier to just the crib and then the car. And I think the car was where it went bad because then I was like, well, I'll also just bring it into this store or this restaurant. And then before we knew it, he basically had it all the time again. So this weekend, David and I, we shook on it and we were like, okay, no more pacifier unless he's in his crib. And it's actually been really good because he loves his pacifier so much, he, he uses a weapon up. And so when I put him to bed, he doesn't make a sound. So when I put him in for nap time, I give him his pacifier back and he's just like so happy to have it that he will just like not even make a peep. And same thing with bedtime. We were kind of struggling with bedtime for a little bit, like he would start crying and stuff. Now he's like not crying at all because he has his passy. So that's what I, what I mean when I said he was like just in his crib for 45 minutes. I don't think he was really napping because he was like kind of talking to himself. But I think he was just content being in there Me. with his pacifier. So I'm just like sitting here watching YouTube, trying to figure out what to do today. I have zero motivation, but I know this kid needs to get out and do something because he's a little toddler and needs to get out his energy. What do you want to do today? Bowling. Bowling? Maybe we should go to the pool or something. I don't know. I'm just like, maybe I need to make myself some coffee. Cal just brought me this out of the nursery. This is for crew. I bought two already for crew. They're so sweet. I love this one. It's like a soft little sheep. But yeah, he just brought this out to me for me to open for him. I'm like, yeah, right. When you came over, my heart was on its way out. I wasn't sober and I was thinking I little boy is. You look so adorable. Nah. You need a snack? Nah. Do you want some of these Trader Joe's gummy bears? He's obsessed with these. Here you go. Thank you. Um, but this is from Janie and Jack. This is the first time that he's wearing it with nothing underneath, but I think it's like kind of cute like that. It's very like, I don't know, Southern. I think it's adorable. And he's got his Sperry's with socks because pretty much every shoe he wears gives him a blister if he doesn't have socks on. So at least they're like cute little whale socks. But I think he looks so adorable. So if you can't tell, I'm definitely feeling much better. He just got up from his nap. So while he napped, I took a nice long bath and just kind of relaxed. 
and got dressed. I put some makeup on and so now I'm like feeling like a whole new person. So I think we're going to go um, out because I just don't want to stay home. I don't really feel like going to the pool today either. I think we're going to grab some lunch like maybe Chick-fil-A or something and um, update on the nursery. So this is how it looks. I mean, it's basically done. It just needs like a few finishing touches. And I've been watching, I follow a lot of people on Instagram. Oh, I'll talk about my outfit too. But I follow a lot of people on like YouTube and social media that are due the same time as me. And they've already like finished their nursery. And so now all of a sudden I'm feeling super behind. So I kind of want to go to some stores and figure things out. But basically the main thing, I need to order a cover for this which I think I'm just going to get from Amazon but the main area is like above the crib I or changing table at first I wanted something just big like a big sign but I just haven't found anything that I love so I was looking on Pinterest and I saw a lot of like gallery walls where they put like a bunch of different black and white decor things here so I'm thinking maybe if I found a bunch of small things that I like I could do something like that I'm not sure if I'm going to add you know, it's been like this for so long that I'm not sure if I even want to add a fourth item to this wall. That wall, I think I'm going to do these little arrows. And then this wall, I've got this little elephant head, but it's just so small compared to like this space. So I might want to do a couple more things there too. So I think, what are you doing, buddy? So I think I'm going to go out to like Michael's, maybe Target, TJ Maxx. I mean, we'll see how, how much he lets me do. But maybe just do a little bit of retail therapy and maybe figure out some things for this room. Um, my outfit today, these are from ASOS. I think I've shown these before. I'm so happy I bought them because I literally wear them all the time. They are like a big high waist maternity pant with ruffles on the bottom. And they have them in non-maternity too. And then this top is just from Target. It's very, very old. Back when these like tie shirts were in style, probably like five years ago. But I just have that on. And then these are my comfy prego shoes. They're by Snook. They're like yoga mat shoes. And then I just have on these big earrings from Poshmark. And my lip color today is Aussie Rose. I don't have like a ton of makeup on. I don't have anything on my eyes or brows or anything like that. I just kind of put on some quick makeup and my hair is just like air drying so I think we're gonna go ahead and head out mm. stroller is getting so heavy What a life. Look at that. Nope, just kidding. Okay, let's go. All this stuff is 60% off. I totally wanted this when I was doing the patio in the beginning of the summer. So it'll be, oh geez, it's still kind of expensive. Freaking cute. Look at that press for champagne. I kind of think I need that. All right, we're gonna run into TJ now. But first, preggy problems. All right, we're doing good. He's had his lunch, he had a lollipop. We've got one more store. Okay, I feel like I got the most random stuff ever. I'll show you guys what I got. So at Michael's, um, so Cal's birthday is in August, which is actually, sorry, what you doing? Actually right around the corner and it's bubble guppies themed. So I saw these pails and I thought they would be really cute to serve like chips and snacks in. Hey honey. 
And then we're also doing a sand pit. So I saw the, these. So all this stuff was $2 each. So I just, you wanna play with that now? That's fine. So I grabbed that stuff at Michael's. And then I also needed some fish for ice cubes for drinks. I thought that would be cute since it's bubble guppy theme. Um, so these were three bucks each. So I grabbed those. And then I showed you guys this in the store, but this is normally 35. I think it was $15 after the discount, and I just thought it was so cute for out on the patio. So that's what I got at Michael's. Then at Target, I got a rug for the kitchen because we needed a new one. Um, I got this, this is basically what's on his wall right now in the nursery, except this one has gold in it, and I figured, it was $8, I figured I'll just put that on there. Um, then I got this cloud shelf, and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use this or not, but I just grabbed it. I feel like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end up going to Hobby Lobby and stuff this weekend and just buying a bunch of different things and seeing what works and just returning what doesn't. So I did get that. And then at TJ Maxx, I got these. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, these do not really go with this at all. So I don't really know what I was thinking. I just thought these would be like a nice accent piece I don't really know. These are $12.99. I'll probably return these. And then also at TJ Maxx, these were just too cute to pass up. I'm going to put these in our uh, powder room because I think I mentioned um, in another video that I definitely want to redo that bathroom. And by redo, I mean just like add a little bit of decor in it and switch some stuff out. So I thought that would be pretty in there. And then at Target, I found a nightstand, but clearly doesn't really fit. I'm too pregnant to deal with this right now. So I think when David gets home, I'll see if he can find a way to make it work. But I thought it would be nice to have a nightstand next to the rocking chair. Um, but obviously, yeah, I don't know if we move the crib over, then that's off. I don't really know what we're going to do, but, um, so I may end up returning this as well, but it's normally $70 and it was on clearance for $34.98 and it's like really nice. So I thought, it was just too good of a deal to pass up. And it could be really nice in here if we can make it work, but I don't know, this room's just kind of tiny. I say that, but I'm just used to Cal's humongous bedroom. All right, we're gonna have some relaxation time. Cal is in his little pod. I just paused PJ masks, so he's gonna watch some TV. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. My lip sense order just came in. I love when these come in. This is like their new coastal collection. And there's this color in here called Nude Pink and it's so pretty. And I sold all of them. They're all gone and the company sold out of them. So they're, they're like in super high demand. Um, I don't even get to keep one for myself. I sold them all, but they're so cute. There's some really cool colors like pink sand, gloss, just some really pretty stuff in here. Yay. So I'm gonna do Alive on my makeup group. If you guys are interested, I've had a lot of people ask questions about, thank you, about how to order. So I have a Facebook group and that's where I post all my inventory and sales and stuff like that. So that's kind of the best place to be if you wanna, if you wanna buy anything. Hi. Thank you. Um, but if you don't have Facebook or if you don't want to be in the group, you can just send me a private message through Instagram or Facebook. Anyways, just send me a message on social media. And um, once we decide on a color or whatever you want to order, I just send you an invoice via email and you just pay it um, online and then I ship it to you. So it's super easy. Um, I don't have a website yet. I think I have one. I just need to figure out how to set it up. So that's how you order because I have had a lot of people asking about this and how to order colors. Oh, just like that, I'm feeling so nauseous, completely out of nowhere. I swear, every single night, it just hits me like a brick. Like, just, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. It's awful. Goodness, <laughs> this baby. So, I, I'm all out of ginger ale. I need to go get some more. I've been drinking the Zevia ginger ale because there's no sugar in it. It's sweetened with stevia. So, I've been drinking that, but I'm out. So, I'm gonna try this Trader Joe's strawberry soda. I just feel like I need bubbles. 
because it helps my stomach, so totally sucks. I mean, I guess I deserve it for not getting sick in the first trimester, but I swear every evening around dinner time, I just feel like, ugh, ugh. Okay, does anyone else feel like when their husband is on their way home from work, it, it takes forever? Like I called him, he goes to the gym after work. So I called him and I was like, hey, I'm not feeling well. Like, are you gonna be home soon? And I swear it's been so long. It's already 6.30. He gets off work at five. He does, we do live like 40 minutes from his office, but still I'm like, come on, just come home. I feel like he does it on purpose. I know he doesn't. Are you okay? I know he doesn't, but um, I just feel like that sometimes. Um, that strawberry soda, not not what I wanted. I'm feeling better though. I am working right now getting um, lip sense orders packaged up and everything since all that inventory came in today. So that's what I've been doing, but I'm just like, Cal tore apart my office, took everything out of the trash can. So I'm just like, can you please get home soon? Oh. Okay, update. Mommy. We're taking like everything back. This just doesn't fit. The space is too small. It was like what? way too crowded in there. So, what a shame because it was such a good deal. My mom thinks this looks demonic. So, I'm going to take that back. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to use this shelf or the other little orchid thingies or whatever they're called that I got from TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna take basically everything I bought today back to the store tomorrow. All right, so we've got dinner going. It's kind of a sad dinner. I didn't have much salsa for the chicken. We barely have any cheese. We don't have refried beans or nacho cheese, which David likes. So it's kind of a sad dinner, but we do have some Mexican street corn from Trader Joe's it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm actually gonna start filming a mommy nighttime routine starting right after I get off of here. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You lay beside me, you held my hand in the dark. I started fighting because I was scared of it all.